Hey everyone, this is Richard Martin for Albrecht's Count. I've got a small IKEA hack and I use some Lego to pull it off. I'm building my daughter's new bed, a slacked model. And anyone who's built any IKEA drawers over the years, especially if you get older sets, you're probably pretty familiar with how the bottoms will sag on you. Well, IKEA. I guess at some point in the last 20 years, especially since some of my older belts, I still got all my older belts, they've added reinforcement bars, especially for longer drawers. Now the thing is, when you look, there's still a huge gap. And as you can see, I'm not too thrilled with that. So I figured out that with the addition of just one plate, Whatever size you have handy. And I'm just using the 4x4. Placed under there, there's virtually no movement now. I mean, it's dead perfect. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape, scotch tape, whatever. I'm going to wrap around that just so it doesn't move. Once it's in the drawer, gravity and weight will hold that in place anyway. I'll show you what I did. One second. All right, so we're back, and I have put a little bit of scotch tape just to hold it in place so that when I do flip it over and put it in the drawer, there won't be any messing around. That's not even moving now, nothing. I just wanted to show how Lego can fix any kind of household problems. Thanks. For watching, this is Richard Martin for Albrecht's Count.